One of the most popular questions I'm getting about the JWT and the modern authentication and authorization is how to revoke a JWT token. If the JWT token is immutable and you would like to revoke the user's permission, how to enforce that? How to cancel, how to lock out the user from accessing your services? And revoking a session is something that you do in this case when you want to revoke someone access. But how to do it with the JWT? I have a bad news for you. You can't revoke a JWT token. This is just not how it works. I mean, you can build your own blacklist for the tokens. That means every time you would like to revoke some kind of the token, you just put it into the list and every time the service receives a token, it checks on the list if the token is not blacklisted. Luckily, you do not have to do it because with the JWTs, you grant the access in a slightly different way. First of all, you have the option to decide for how long each issued access token is valid. That means if you keep the lifespan of the access token very very short, you can ensure that every, let's say, one minute, every client application will have to refresh its access token using the refresh token, or if the refresh token expires, to log in one more time with credentials. And that short lifespan of the access and the refresh token ensures that you have the possibility to lock out the user using the standard console of your JWT provider, for example, Keycloak. You want to lock down the user, you log in into the Keycloak console, you disable the user, and that means that during the next attempt to refresh the access token, Keycloak will just refuse to issue the new one. And of course, all the old tokens will be invalid at this point because they already expired. You see, no real need to maintain the blacklist, the list of revoked JWT tokens at all. The good practice, if you want to ensure that you are able to lock out the users, is to keep the lifetime of the access and the refresh token short. The lifetime of the token you should aim for, of course, depends on your application. However, to be honest, I would probably not keep the access token valid for longer than 5 minutes and the refresh token no longer than 15 or 20 minutes. However, if you really want to be sure that you can revoke a token, there is a way. And the way is to generate new keys used to sign the tokens. And of course, inform all the applications that they have to download the new key. In a practical scenario, it works like that. You issued a couple long-lived tokens that you would like to revoke. The tokens itself are valid, but you do not want to accept them anymore. That means you generate a new keys, a new keys used to sign the new tokens, and you issue the not before policy to all the clients or the applications or of your microservices are right now forced to download the new public keys from the Keycloak server. And then when the token that you do not want to accept will come to the service, service will just reject the token because it will not match the signature. But to make this happen, the services have to be aware that they have to switch the public key used for the verification. What have we learned today? No, you cannot revoke the token, but you do not really have to revoke the token if you keep the lifespan of the token short. Then you still have the option to lock out the user instead of locking out the very specific tokens. And when you really have to, you can change the keys on the issuer of the tokens so that all the 
old tokens generated before the key change will be just invalidated out of the box by all the applications. If you would like to know more about the JWTs and the modern authentication and authorization, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy coding!